Welcome to my first NBA Mock Draft of the year. We've just completed the NCAA Tournament, and some of these players in this Mock Draft we saw in that tournament, some we did not, but others we've seen international highlights. So let's get right to it. Now these, now this draft order is as of Wednesday night. So let, we're going to get right into this. Number one, we have Boston. Now this is the Nets pick after that disastrous trade the Nets did just for four veteran players. I believe it was like the Kevin Garnett and then Paul Pierce. and Kind of like that. Anyway, I had the Celtics going with Josh Jackson out of Kansas. Now, many would say Markel Fultz is number one on the draft board. However, I feel like Boston doesn't want to just risk the fact that Markel, they don't want to risk drafting Markel Fultz, considering he's injured right now. And he missed a significant amount of time last year with that knee injury. So I feel like Boston is going to pass up on him. And in fact, spoiler alert for for the next couple of minutes, I have Markel Fultz falling. I think I have him falling a pretty decent amount. I feel like some of the teams are going to be passing up on him because they haven't seen him play enough in college. It's going to make him question. But I'm sure he's still going to be drafted maybe within the top 10. But you never know with these things. So we have Josh Jackson, number one. Number two, I have the Suns going with De'Aaron Fox out of Kentucky. And this is kind of this is kind of where we get a little bit, a little bit controversial here with mock drafts, whether it's mine or somebody else's. So far, we got Josh Jackson, De'Aaron Fox. Number three, I have the LA Lakers going with Lonzo Ball out of UCLA. Now, I originally was going to put Lonzo Ball in the top five. I'm going to be honest about that. But I kind of had a change of heart. I mean, maybe Lonzo Ball would fit in better, maybe in New York or Sacramento or Minnesota. But I just feel like the Lakers are going to just take a chance on Lonzo Ball, keep the California kid in California. Kind of like what happened, kind of like what I said in the NFL mock draft. I know it's a different sport, but... I said the Texans would draft Pat Mahomes and fit in, keep the Texas kid in Texas. But in this situation for the NBA, it's keep the California kid in California. <clears throat> Number four, I have Orlando drafting Dennis Smith out of NC State. Now with this one, I'm not 100% sure about. But number five, I'm sure about this one. I have Philadelphia with Jason Tatum out of Duke. Now, Philadelphia, the 76ers, they have a history of drafting players that don't play in their rookie se their actual rookie season. We've seen it. They've drafted Joel Embiid, Nerlens Noel, Ben Simmons. So they have to draft somebody that's going to be able to play this year or next season, and Jason Tatum's going to fit that bill. Because I don't Think even if Markel Fultz is still available at number five, I don't think you take the chance on it because it's failed three times when you've drafted somebody that hasn't played their actual rookie season. So we're after five picks, and Markel Fultz is still available. Number six, we have the New York Knicks going with Frank. Nittle Kenna, the point guard out of France. I just feel like they just need to start fresh the point guard position. I mean, let's just be honest. The Knicks aren't as good as we thought they were going to be. I feel like if they get some fresh blood around Kristaps Porzingis, they could make a playoff run within the next three years. At number seven, I have Sacramento going with Markel Fultz, point guard of Washington. So there it is. He's off the board, but at number seven. I just feel like Sacramento has to take the chance. They've just got to build 
a team full of potential shooters. And I feel like I like Markel Fultz's shooting ability. At number eight, I have Minnesota going with Malik Monk out of Kentucky. Now, I feel like Sacramento would have drafted Malik Monk in this mock draft if this was the real thing. I feel like they would take somebody like Malik Monk. But they took Mark Hilfold, so now Minnesota takes Malik Monk. At number nine, I have Dallas going with Lowry Markinen, the power forward out of Arizona. Now, this guy just screams Kristoff Porzingis. I mean... He's got the same size as Christoph Porzingis. He's got the same athleticism as Christoph Porzingis. I even see him having the same rebounding style out of Christoph Porzingis. Number 10. Now this is the Pelicans pick. I have Sacramento going with Miles Bridges. Out of Michigan State. I feel like they need size on this. they got to get size to replace Boogie Cousins. They would have drafted Lori Markinen, but that was the pick before. And now at number 11, I have Detroit going with T.J. Leaf out of UCLA. Number 12, I have Charlotte going with Jonathan Isaac out of Florida State. Number 13, I have Miami going with Ivan Robb out of California. The Heat, I think, need to just build up size. Number 14, the last lottery pick, I have the Denver Nuggets with Justin Jackson out of North Carolina. Now, despite not making a single three-pointer in the NCAA championship game against Gonzaga, I feel like Justin Jackson earned his spot as a lottery pick. I mean, you could argue that he'll fall maybe just outside the lottery or he'll just sneak in the lottery. I feel like he's going to be the last lottery pick if the draft were tonight. Number 15, I have Portland going with Zach Collins, the center out of Gonzaga. I feel like the Trailblazers need size. Just like the team coming up, the Indiana, the Indiana Pacers go with Jared Allen, the center out of Texas. I feel like those two teams need some size. you got to get some young, need some young talent with some size. Number 17, I have the Chicago Bulls going with John Collins out of Wake Forest. Maybe you could... Maybe you could argue that the Bulls would maybe want to would at least make an attempt to trade up to either 13, 14, or 15, 16 to try to draft a center with size. But I feel like they'll be able to settle with John Collins in this situation. Number 18, I have the Atlanta Hawks going with Dwayne Bacon out of Florida State. Number 19, I have Milwaukee Bucks going with Luke Kennard out of Duke. Number 20, I have the Portland Trailblazers going with Justin Patton, the center of Creighton. Now, I know this doesn't really make sense. But here's kind of the deal. I could see Portland maybe trying to trade one of those two draft picks to maybe sneak in to the late first round to maybe draft some shooting ability. Or maybe they might trade one of those centers for a second round pick. Because there's some great second round guys out there as well, like Josh Hart, who has the game changer type of personality. I know that makes zero sense for them to draft two centers. But never say never though. Number 21, I have Oklahoma City going with Caleb Swanigan out of Purdue. Now, maybe if I had a chance to just readjust this real quick, maybe I would have put Caleb Swanigan at 20 and Justin Patton at 21. Because I feel like it'd probably make more sense that way. But in 2.0, I'm going to have that changed. If nobody's stock really improves or deteriorates. Number 22, I have the Toronto Raptors going with Donovan Mitchell out of Louisville. 23, I have Orlando going with Jonathan Motley out of Baylor. 24, I have Brooklyn going with Tyler Lydon out of Syracuse. Number 25, I have the Jazz going with Bam Adebayo out of Kentucky. 
26. I have broken with Wesley Iwandu out of Kansas State. 27. Portland going with Radonis Kurux out of Le out of Latvia. 28. I have the LA Lakers going with Harry Giles out of Duke. Number 29. I have the San Antonio Spurs going with Grayson Allen out of Duke. Ugh. And number 30. I have the Utah Jazz going with Semi Ujali out of SMU. Now, I know I probably butchered some of these last names. But I promise I'm going to try better in 2.0 because I know some of these guys are going to be in that first round in 2.0 as well. Anyway, I know my picks are probably not going to make any sense, but that's just the first one. We're probably going to... I know there's going to be at least two more. I'm going to consider doing more mock drafts once the NFL draft is complete. We're going to see a lot of mock drafts in the month of May. We're going to probably see one at least a week before the draft. So it should be some exciting stuff. Comment your opinions down below. Or if you want, you can just make one comment per pick. So you can make 30 comments if you want. 30 separate comments. I know somebody's going to do that. In fact, it doesn't even bother me at all. Because we really need the comments. We'd also like for you to share this video with your friends and your family. Perhaps people that are... Just fans of all these players that are in this mock draft. They see where I have them going if the draft were tonight. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. You guys have a great day, everybody. I'm going to see you in my next video. And if it's on the exact schedule I have, it's going to be a pretty exciting thing. So I want to stay tuned for that. Anyway, I will see you then.